You know, it's been nearly four years since his near-fatal drug overdose at a Nevada brothel, and it was a turbulent time for Lamar. There was the rise and fall of his marriage to Khloe Kardashian, the end of his basketball career, and he chronicles it all in his new memoir, Darkness to Light. We sat down for a revealing and very candid conversation, and trust me when I tell you, Lamar held nothing back. Let's talk about this book. You, right. put, you put stuff out there. I tried to. Vegas the hospital when you got there they mm -hmm. didn't think you were gonna make it yeah i was a goner did you realize you were a goner when you were sitting at that ranch nah it was just another day of you know what i'm saying being freaky i guess <laughs> or trying to be freaky lamar was partying at a nevada brothel for four days when he was found unresponsive on october 13th 2015. Lamar was rushed to the hospital on the brink of death. His heart stopped twice and he suffered 12 seizures and six strokes. Cocaine was found in his system, but Lamar alleges the late brothel owner, Dennis Hoff, drugged him. I didn't take drugs that night. Huh? You didn't? Mm. They told me it was something in my system, cocaine or whatever in my system. I don't know how they got it in there. But that's my, my God's the honest truth. In your career, how much money do you think you blew through? Just off drugs? I would say probably 100 million. When Lamar suffered the overdose, he was in the midst of a divorce with now ex-wife Khloe Kardashian. She dropped everything, including their divorce petition, so she could take over his medical care. Against all odds, Lamar recovered. What does Khloe still mean to you today? A lot. I still got a lot of love for her. But there were other women. Yeah. You said in the book that you had sex with more than 2,000 women. I never really kept a count. I might have over-exaggerated a little bit. Okay. Was it always safe sex? No. No? Mm -hmm. Do you worry about that ever? Of course. You know, we all have seen what happened to Irv. We all know how real that is. How much do you think you hurt her? I mean, a lot. Yeah? Yeah, a lot. I'm blessed just for her even just to pick up my phone call. Have you guys kind of made amends now? I mean, I wouldn't call it amends. I've spoke to, spoken to her recently. Mm -hmm. If you call that amends. I don't if you know. could say one thing to Chloe right now, what would you say? I love you and um, thank you for being there for me when I couldn't walk or talk. That love will never go away. All right, let's move from his love for Chloe to a little bit of shade. I've known Lamar since before he came into the league, and I found it interesting that I was also name-checked in the book. So I had to talk to Lamar and get some things straight about that. I want to read a quote from your book, all right? Kevin Frazier from Entertainment Tonight tried to win family members over with free fried chicken in hopes of getting an exclusive. Explain that to me. I'm going to let you explain that. As in your book. As in your book is the bottom. I can't really remember saying that, Kevin. I mean, that would have to be offensive, too. Would I? And I'm sorry for that. So I guess my writer must have just trying to be creative with his writing. All right, all right. Sorry if I offended you, bro. Listen, Lamar and I have always been good, and he's one of my favorite people out there. But please, just don't mix me up with Colonel Sanders.